Hi developers, I'm Hossam Dilai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use Carousel View with Xamarin Forms applications. Carousel View makes it easy to flip horizontally through images or items. In real life, it looks like this one. Here I have a sample app that uses Carousel View. So here I can flip horizontally through some images in my application. I can do that in Windows Store apps or I can do that in my Android application and also in the iOS application because Xamarin Forms runs on all of these platforms. So let's learn how to implement Carousel View in our Xamarin Forms applications. For that, I'll go here to Visual Studio. Here I have created a new project by going to File, New Project, then choosing Xamarin uh, Forms uh, template. That's by choosing this one here, blank XAML app here because I'm using PCL project. Then we'll go to our uh, solution and right from the solution, right click, hit manage NuGet packages for solution. And from here we need to update to the version. Uh, 2.3 of Xamarin Forms. At least it should be the version 2.3 to see in order to support a uh, carousel view. So let's go and update to that version. Here I have Xamarin.forms nuget package. Here we should update to the version um, at least 2.3. I have already done that, but for you, if you don't already uh, update it, you can go and grab the latest stable version or the pre-release version if you want. Then choose uh, install on all of the projects. So make sure here you install the uh, Xamarin Forms package in all your uh, projects. Then we'll go to browse and look for a NuGet package called Xamarin Forms dot Carousel View. So because Carousel View here is still a new feature, uh, for that it's still in beta and you only can install it in separate package. It doesn't come out of the box with a Xamarin Forms package, so we need to install it um, uh, independently. And here make sure you uh, pick include pre-release because right now it's still in beta. So let's choose that one and let's hit install. Here I have already installed it on all my projects, for that I have installed in uh, disabled, but for you, you should be able to install it at the first time for your project. Now that we have upgraded to Xamarin Forms 2.3 and installed Xamarin Forms uh, Carousel View, now we can use Carousel View. So I'll go here to my main page, and here I'll add a new uh, Carousel View. and add the namespace for the carousel view, which is uh, the, um, here I'm using resharper and resharper call it this namespace forms because here it's inside Xamarin uh, forms. Uh, if you don't have resharper, then maybe you should add this line of code manually. Then you will be able to use uh, this um, control carousel view. The carousel view can display uh, images or text or any type of uh, data. So let's uh, start by the uh, simplest one. So let's give it a name. Let's call it main carousel view. And in this carousel view, I'll go and show uh, some text. For that, I'll go to the code behind here main page .cs, and from here I'll go and create a list of names to be shown inside the carousel view. So let's choose some names here. I have prepared some. Here are the list of names. Now we want to show this list of names in the carousel view 
whenever we flip through that carousel view it shows a new name now let's go and bind that to the items source the items source is the object that will get the items to be shown in the uh, carousel view here we want to show the list of the names and here because I want to show this list of names I should tell my carousel view that uh, it should expect a list of names for that we need to uh, create Uh, an item template. So let's go to forms. Oops. Forms dot carousel view dot item template. So this looks like or it's like working with a list view where we have the item template and inside the item template we have the data template also. And inside the data template we can define our uh, object to be shown here in my case it's a label this label will have text equal and use binding uh, let's make that text bigger so let's give it font size of 60 then here I'm ready to uh, show my list of names inside this carousel view here on uh, last thing to do is to put the label and the carousel view inside uh, one element let's choose stack layout for example now we should be ready to run this application so let's click F5 so here it is the list of the names and from here I can flip through the names and here are good so this is a simple example showing list of names now let's make it uh, a little bit nice and show a list of images for that I'll go back to my uh, code behind here and instead of showing a list of names I'll go and create a list of images For each image, I'll give it um, the URL, which is of type string, and I have prepared some list of images. Here are. And now, instead of showing the names, I want to show this list of images. And here, and the main page, instead of showing a label, here because. I have a list of images to show inside, uh, I show them inside uh, an image user control. The image have the property source to tell about the source of the image. Let's click F5 now. So here it is, the list of images. Now we can flip through these uh, images good so now I want to know uh, if the when the user flips through these list of images I need to know in which image he is uh, viewing for that we have events in the carousel view and we have an event called it item selected so let's create an item selected event so the item selected have two parameters the of type object and one of, of type selected item changed event args uh, probably you want uh, you need to um, to create this event yourself by uh, code so here I want to get the uh, image that the user is viewing for example if he is seeing this image i want to get to know about uh, i want to know that he is seeing this image not this one for example so let's show the image he is viewing in the user interface let's go back here to my main page.xaml and add a label to show the um, the source of the image 
let's call this label main label for example and right from here I go to uh, main label dot text in order to show the source of the image I can get the source of the image by using the E parameter the selected item changed event args so let's go to E and here I have the property selected item the property selected item will get the bind the binded object to the data template of the carousel view in my case here I'm binding the images the images is a list of string for that for each data template I'm binding a string so this object selected item object we can bind it to a string so it's still here that I want to bind it to a string and now let's control F5 to see our application so now each time I flip to another uh, item in the carousel view you see here that the um, the label is updated to show the source of that uh, image so this event is fired in each time uh, I'm changing the view of the carousel uh, view that's cool so we have tested this application in Android uh, if we test it to uh, on Windows UWP project by going to UWP and set a startup project then here I choose x86 uh, because I'm running on a PC and hit local machine and you see here I get an exception that exception is because I have to add some code for the UWP project so as stated here in this blog by uh, Zamarim uh, here I should add this, uh, these lines of code to my app.zaml in the UWP project so let, let's copy these lines of code and let's come back to Visual Studio and go to the UWP project right to the app.zaml and let's add these lines of code that will make the carousel view works for uh, Windows uh, UWP let's import the namespace which is uh, which is here call it platform it's referencing Xamarin forms platform so now let's try again local machine now we have the application running and showing the carousel view from which we can flip through the different uh, items so I hope this was useful and thank you